I can click pretty fast, but this website brings it to a whole new dimension. You need to click this button to gain stimulations and then buy upgrades to get more of them faster. As a software engineer, I'm going to use code to completely destroy this game. So let's try to beat it. Let's full screen this and start clicking the button. Okay, now we got upgrades too. So this one adds a DVD player. This one adds a tab and this one increases stimulations per click. Now that's going to be useful. Let's buy a DVD player. The DVD player increases the number of stimulations when it reaches the edge of the screen. These upgrades are valuable. So that means we'll also have to click the upgrades and not just the button in order for us to win the game. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is run a program which just clicks the main button and gets stimulations. We'll deal with the upgrades later. But how do we see the coordinates of the button? So there's this tool called Windows Spy, which can tell me exactly where the position of the mouse is so it looks like it's 1280 by 545 okay sweet let's run this nice now i don't have to do anything and we can get hundreds of clicks now let's see what happens if i set pi auto gy pause variable to something very small Okay, that was really fast. Now we could leave it like this overnight and win, but there's no fun in that. So let's make our program buy upgrades and continue clicking the button. The coordinates for the five available upgrades are starting from 1100 to 1500x and on the Y it's 750. So let's add the code. Nice, let's run this. What the f***? Let's stop this and give the game a fighting chance by reducing the actions. Now let's start again. Alright, nice. So after a while, we get lo-fi beats, subway surfers for daily brain rot, and a hydraulic press. So it looks like I gotta press the start button, wait for the press to finish, and then collect the stimulations. So adding this is gonna be really simple. We're just gonna click on the positions where the start button is placed and where the collect button will be placed. There's no need to check for them since we always know their positions. Let's get the coordinates with the Windows Pi app, and let's add the code. Now let's test the hydraulic press. Okay, so the press is working. Let's continue. So, it looks like we got more brain rot, this guy eating, and some achievements. So there's this new level up mechanic that needs to be clicked. Collecting stimulations adds to the progress bar and when we level up we can collect more stimulations. That's easy, so let's add it and continue. Okay, I'm gonna go to the house. 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 I'm gonna go to
Now we got an item shop, we got new looks for upgrades, and we got chests. The item shop is purely cosmetic, so it's not important, but these chests are. These chests can pop up anywhere on the screen, and we need to click them to get stimulations. But it's not gonna be as simple as just clicking, because we don't know where they will appear. So let's add that. Clicking on the entire screen is not efficient, so we're gonna use OpenCV Python to template match the chests. Okay, let's run this again. Nice, so we got the chest to work, our program is clicking it, and now we also have stocks. And no, I'm not gonna be implementing a stock trading bot anytime soon. Now we got Duolingo too. I'm not gonna bother with it again, because answering a correct question gives you about 5,000 stimulations, which is not worth it for us at all. But what is worth for us is if we can speed up this program, and I have an idea exactly how. I can just tell the program to click more times, and sometimes click on the upgrades and other things. Now that's way better. We've almost tripled the amount of stimulations we get per second. And now let's add even more clicks. So now we have 25,000 stimulations per second. And we got mail. Now we have an inbox where we can send money to Nigerian princes and we can also reply to our grandma. But at this point, we click so fast that it's not worth bothering. Let me show you the shop. With it, you can change the button that you have to click on, can add trails to your cursor or even change the cursor itself. Now let's let the program work and see what happens. Ready, go, ready, go. 